Hello everybody, welcome to Sheena's Guides. Um, I'm sorry I, be, I, I was very busy, I couldn't uh, put any videos. So I'm just quickly giving you an update about as many students ask me about the Sunderland University accommodation. I'm talking here about only the Sunderland University's accommodation. So when you go on to Google and type in Sunderland University accommodation, you can notice that accommodations are, many, many accommodations are there. Um, there are accommodations which is near to the universities, near to the, um, away from the city centre, that is the shopping centre, away from the town, and but near to the hospital and near to the university. Um, and that is the Clanny House and the Forge. Um, so they are, um, so the other, so other ones, are, a couple of ones are there in the town itself. Um, I, I have been, when I came in 2004, from the hospital for, as a nurse in, in Sunderland Hospital, we stayed in Sunderland University's Clanny House accommodation. It's a good, very good accommodation. Okay, um, I, I don't know whether you are aware of it. You have um, buses from uh, university buses, shuttle buses, where you get, if you show your ID, it's free. So from Clanny House, you can go, um, you know, get onto the bus and you get dropped down to the, um, to the Sunderland University. It is from every accommodation it is there. Um, so you can even have a walk. Uh, so from Clanny House and Forge, I think it will be around about 10, 10, 12 minutes down to the Sunderland University. Uh, if you are in Clanny House, uh, you are just near to the Sunderland Hospital um, and also near to uh, uh, to the Indian shop. There is an Indian shop there. Also, there is an Aldi, there's a, which is a supermarket. And, and it's a walkable distance to the Pallion where you have other shopping, com other shops also is there. Um, so that is about uh, Sunderland. So I'll particularly tell about Clanny House. Um, in Clanny House um, accommodations, I think it would be similar to every accommodation. If a building has got, if one building, they would have seven. If they say seven, there would be seven individual rooms. Okay. So each room is for one person. Um, so um, if it is like a three bedded, it would be like each individual room will be for one person. So in this seven, um, in, in this building, which has seven rooms that each, as I said, each rooms will be for one person. Uh, the room is, has got a bed, which is like a small double bed and also has three, ta uh, three tables, um, uh, sorry, not three tables, two tables. Um, also, it has got a small wash basin. And the toilet, which is outside, which is to be shared with two or three people. Um, mostly it is two or sometimes it can be also three people um, so that's the kitchen is shared with seven people all the seven flat room mates they have will have to share the seven the kitchen then the kitchen you have the gas um, the electric gas uh, means electric uh, stove uh, means you have a oh, hob which is which is uh, you have a hob which is electric so any any pans is possible okay um and then underneath you have the oven you also have micro oven you have two fridge and two freezers and so two fridge and two freezers has to be shared with seven people so one tray would be for one person that's normally is the where the patterns are because my when my kids go into the universities when my elder daughter went to university that's like one tray would be um for one child one one person um and you also have a table there in the kitchen where you can sit and eat. You can warm your food and sit and eat. And also you can take your food upstairs in your room. Um, and also you can have it there also. Okay. Um, this seven building, seven rooms would be in a three-story um, So you can, you walk, you have the stairs to go up. Um, so that's the accommodation. So now I'll tell you about each items. So in the kitchen, you only have the, um, as I said, you have the hob, which is electric and the oven, but the pans and everything you have to bring yourself. Mm, so you have to bring your own pans and um, other accessories. Like if you needed a blender or a mixy, you have to bring that. Um, so um, you have to bring vessel, um, you know, small um, plastic containers to put it in the fridge um, and uh, things to put in the fridge and everything so you that you have to buy it you have to bring it 
always remember um, when you buy the blenders or mixy from India and everything the ex uh, the plug point is different what in UK so you have to bring a universal adapter okay so buy a universal adapter which goes on to so when I brought my mixies or uh, blenders from India iron boards from um, iron box um, ironing box from the India iron from the India so I had to use an adapter that's that's thing um, you have to bring the um, uh, iron uh, to iron your clothes so that has to be brought so when you come into the bathroom all the bathroom accessories have to be brought like wash uh, soap and shower gels or shampoos um, plastic cups um, if you want to use the, you know here in in the toilet you use the tissues uh, so if you are a person who needs um, to you have to bring a plastic cups you can buy it from here also um, that's i'm just saying these are things are needed okay um and all and in the room um you know you have um you have um, as i said you need to you have a mattress which will be provided a bed and mattress will be provided um, but if you you can hire the quilt as well as the pillowcase uh, by paying 10 or 15 pound which is a refundable when you return it but i all but when i spoke to the uh, previous students what they said is that they are very thin so in uh, in the cold weather it is not probably sufficient so buying a good quilt would be the most sensible thing so uh, if you come here you can go to the shops and buy it uh, there are shops or online you can order through amazon or you can buy it through the shops there is Durnam hill shops here nearby uh, where you can go and buy it also in uh, in Thalian it is there um, otherwise uh, you can tell your friend you know you can if you have family here you can they can buy it and keep it for you so pillowcase pillow also you can they can buy so the pillow the best sheets the pillow covers and everything you have to bring it um, that is um, as I said even the adapters you have to bring extra to best to bring two or three adapters universal adapters okay um come about washing and dry, um, drying the clothes so washing um you have a big washing machine um out um, on the, there's an outside room you have to pay two pound for washing and one pound for drying so it's a big washing machine uh, when i was speaking to the previous students they were saying that they wash for two or in once in two or in two week two weeks or something once in two weeks they wash and then they dry it mm, so it's two pound for washing and one pound for um, ironing uh, sorry drying okay that's what they normally do mm, you don't because it's a very big container a very big washing machine you know you don't have that many clothes in a week or anything so you can use it for in once in two weeks or something like that somebody asked me about the cost apart you know you all know about your rent like uh, rent for your accommodation which will be 79 pound per week so apart from that what the previous students are saying if you are not a person who takes loads of takeaways or anything you do your own cooking um then i think round about less than you know your for your food and uh, the other things would be will be less than 150 per month that's what they said to me but if you're a person who eats loads of takeaways from outside things will be different for a normal um it will be round about between 100 and round about 115 150 that's what they said to me and the second thing when you come in always bring some medications with you a uh, couple of you know bring paracetamols brufins some antihistamines um uh, you know the uh, something for your stomach when you have because always the food is different here comparing to what you need here so always bring in some uh, lansoprazole or digene um, so for your upset stomach some uh, so these things something for sickness uh, and a uh, couple of courses of antibiotics and all that things is best to keep it with you so that you know it's difficult to get cheap doctor's appointment here you will understand when you come here because in india it's totally different here for everything you have to go by a gp and it is difficult to get a doctor's appointment when you need it so at least you have something in hand okay so these things and also um you know uh, people have come in with some ayurvedic medicines or something like that where for indigestion or for um, 
uh, for back cakes or anything like that that is also so these are things which is needed so even creams like Waltrolled cream or anything like that um, that's best to be brought because it's expensive over here mm. so that pick and also remember per prescription if you have to get it anything on the prescription for one prescription one item on the prescription it is nine pound um, so always remember that so that that is another thing the second thing is that when you bring it when you come when you bring it uh, come in always get the copies of your documents um at least four or five document uh, copies of your documents original documents um, take a couple of more than 10 passport size photos uh, go on to the um, british passport website and then see what um, you know what are the specification for the photos passport size photos and based on that take at least 10 or 12 passport size photos and keep it with you because you may need it here some uh, for some other purpose then it is easy that and take loads of photocopies um wh what uh, some of the students have said to me is that when they came here some of the students like taking printed papers there are loads of documents which they need to get printed papers so what they brought many of the students brought their own printer um, so worthwhile looking into it which are the cheaper ones and everything and you can buy it from here on ebay or um, a facebook selling page or something like that but before you buy it you always check um the ink the, you know how much the ink cost and what what the paper you know, that is the main thing so if you're a person who who is used to read through the pay book or paper i think printed is because there are loads of notes so that's another option but that's what another few students have told me they have brought print their print their own printers um, because it was costing them more when they were printing out in the um in the hot in the university um so always um how know what your allergies and everything there some students also brought some indian foods from in uh, from india so then they had some storage of things there so you know every time they didn't have to spend a lot of money because you have got 45 kilos so you can buy you can bring your own uh, things like uh dried coconut um or uh, be, um, you know uh, what i say or all the powders you can bring it like chili powder coriander powder turmeric powders and masala powders and everything tamarinds um, so these things can be brought and you know and you can um, you can keep it with you so at least then you don't have to spend money on that so I'm just giving a general hints of what is needed and what is not. And then you can build up on that. But what I would always advise you is that make a list. Okay. Don't think that, oh, I can buy this. I can, I remember this. I read. No, make a list. Um, mobile phone charges, mobile phone must because when you come here and if you imagine you had an old phone and it you you I it broke and you have to buy another phone, it makes it a bit difficult. So buy a, have a decent size phone, have a charger. Even if you have two chargers, that is always good. Um, and then um, always um, have a small torch. Um, that's very handy. I always feel that a small torch is very handy with you. Uh, pens, pencils, all these things. I know it is available here, but it's just to save money. That's the only thing. What I, as a student, when I'm, what I'm thinking. Mm, but make a list. Okay, um, you have got at least another two months more. Um, you have a lot of time. Keep, uh, um, you know, make a list and then plan accordingly. All the very best to all the students who are coming to September 20, um, 22 batch. Um, and I wish you all the very best. Uh, I'm going to India in July, so I, um, so that is that is why I won't be able to post anything in July. Um, I'm going to India, um, so I'm there in India for a month. Um, hope to see you all, uh, speak to you all when you come into Sunderland, and not only Sunderland to all the universities. I wish you all the very best to all the students. I hope um, I have answered a couple of queries of the students who have asked me about students' accommodation in Sunderland. Thank you very much.